Last night, the uh, House of Representatives voted to impeach DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas for high crimes and misdemeanors, specifically for his willful and systemic refusal to comply with the laws and his breach of the public trust. This action, this is the culmination of nearly a year's worth of investigations and hearings, was necessary to deal with a rogue DHS secretary whose lawless actions have caused and perpetuated one of the worst, the worst border crisis in American history, a border crisis that has devastated communities all across our country. Secretary Mayorkas has shown throughout his tenure that he will defy, he will ignore, and he will replace the laws enacted by this Congress. His actions have not only shown a disdain for the Constitution, but for the Congress, the law, and the American people. The constitutional case against Secretary Mayorkas is sound. The historical record is unambiguous. The framers were united in their belief that the executive branch officials must defend the Constitution, respect the separation of powers, and enforce the laws passed by this body. And if they fail to do so, they should no longer hold office. If we're all being honest here, we all intuitively understand this. When an executive branch official rejects, unilaterally replaces the laws passed by this Congress, we have to act. And last night, we did. I want to thank Speaker Johnson for his support, his leadership, the, the entire leadership's team for their support over the months for my committee. And I want to thank the members of the Committee on Homeland Security and our staff, who has done a fantastic job. They and this Congress, this Republican Congress, have worked to hold this lawless secretary accountable. It's now time for the Senate to do its duty, to step up, hold a trial, and convict Secretary Mayorkas. With that, I'll be followed by the gentleman from Minnesota, Mr. Andrew. Thank you, Mark.